know, it would be good if we could <laughs> directly import some of this from right off the farm fresh here, so it would help our produce section. But certain things, we have to admit that we can't grow in the Virgin Islands because of our temperature. Certain things grow better when they have a little cool temperature. But uh, the collaboration is what we want, where they, we can exchange uh, processes and they can do, we can do something, do some things out here. Like the wine country we spoke about, they mostly wine made up here is from, uh, all of it is from Great Britain. We make wine in the Virgin Islands or the Caribbean from other fruits. Uh, so even that as an exchange can be something good since they seem to be proficient in making wine. Uh, we have certain foods that we would like to be better at in making wine. Those collaborations can be a good thing. Yeah, these, type, <laughs> these, these type of economic exchanges also allow us to see uh, what other people are doing and create ideas that we can bring back home in regard to that. So um, it's great to see how this farm is operating, not only in the blackberry patch that we're in, but yeah, tomatoes, corn, big beefy beefy to a variety big of different tomatoes. Things. I hope you got those on the video. That's big beefy tomatoes. <laughs> Again, I don't even <laughs> eat tomatoes, and I wanted to take a bite and what into one. You know, uh, fresh food growing is a big thing. Like you hear that they have a roadside uh, every, a week, every day. They out there roadside uh, fresh farm, uh, fresh market. Uh, they said they didn't even intend to do it, but it's been so good, so they kept on doing it, and that's what we want farmers to do. You know? From the farm, from the farm to the stand, to the table, you know, this, you want to decrease the amount of stops the food make from the farm to the table. If, if, if shorter, the quicker you can get from farm to table, the better we're doing and the better food we're supplying to our residents. All right, and we're here to continue to support agriculture. As you know, in our Vision 2040, agro-tech and agriculture is, you know, one of our, our main industries, so we need to continue to grow that. It has great potential. It's a small industry that a lot of people can, it's a, it's, I don't want to call it a small industry, but it's a cottage industry that a lot of people can participate in, but collectively it's big. Food is big. Food is an inflexible commodity. One thing we do each and every day is buy food. So the more food we can have providing at home, that's more job, that's better for the economy because money spreading across.